Church, hello beautiful people, good afternoon, we are here in 2021, oh Jesus, I can't wait a time to see you face to face, to worship God together, but you know, uh, it's a tough time, we are distant, but in spirit, we are together, because we are part of the same body, the body of Jesus Christ. And I know the same Jesus uh, is with me right now. I, I know in my heart that Jesus is with you in your house, with your family. Just believe, just believe. Nothing can separate us. Nothing can separate us. Amen. And uh, I miss all of you guys. But uh, we know that uh, we, are, we are together. We are together. And uh, as, a, as a believers, as a church of God, uh, we have an important mission. We have an a, a important responsibility in our society. And uh, just allow God to use your life. Come on. We are in 2021. Uh, I'd like to know about your expectation. Uh, I'd like to know... Uh, from you, what are you doing to be better this new year in your life? Do you remember? Uh, expectation, it's so important to attract the presence of God. Uh, try to create some expectation in your heart and try to spend time in the presence of God. Try to ask God about uh, direction, uh, and uh, ask him to give you revelation about his plan. And I, I don't know about you, but I, I am pretty sure that uh, God gave us uh, a specific portion of grace to, to support a specific portion of grace to live this new year in victory in his presence. God gave us, believe with me, God gave us a specific portion of grace to face all barrels, all obstacles, all challenges that uh, we were facing in this new year. This new year. This new year, my God, he has amazing things for our church and amazing things for amazing things for our lives. Do you remember I talked to you about three important points um, last time when you were together here in our channel on YouTube, and I'd like to continue to talk with you about the message God, that God put in my heart because I think this message it's a message for this this new year. It's a message for this time that we're in. Uh, because sometimes we are worried, um, we are uh, with a lot of concerns in our hearts about things that we don't know, about this crazy time. But uh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Everything is going to be okay when we, when we are walking with our God. And when... We, when we, we enter in the presence of God, and especially, do you remember, when you practice, when you practice some attitudes. And uh, I'd like to continue to challenge you to practice the three points that I gave you. Remember, discernment, alignment, and anointing. Discernment, alignment, and anointing. But that, let me give you the scriptures that I gave you last time when we were together here in our China. Uh, uh, First Chronicles chapter 12 and verse 32, uh, it says this way, from Issachar, men who understood the times and knew what Israel should do. Oh, they had discernment, they had revelation, they had comprehension about things God was doing in that time. They had discernment about transition from, from kingdom of Saul to David. They had discernment about that transition. 
Discernment, it's so important for our lives. Let me repeat again and put these words in your heart. 200 chiefs with all their relatives under their command. Um, let, let me highlight for you some points that I gave you. This, this explanation about uh, Issachar. Issachar was son of Jacob. Son of Jacob. And uh, Jacob released uh, a prophecy upon Issachar. And then Issachar uh, became a tribe in Israel, an important tribe in Israel. A tribe that had the discernment. They knew a lot of things important for the people of Israel. And they contributed with a lot of things to guide these people under, uh, under the, the, the kingdom of David. Uh, here in Genesis chapter uh, 49 and verse 13 and 15, the Bible says, Issachar is a rainbowed donkey lying down among the sheep pens. When he sees how good is his resting place and how pleasant is his land, he will bend his shoulder to the burden and submit to first labor. Wow. They put hands on. They helped David. I told you many times last year, sometimes we want uh, amazing results in our lives. It's normal. For all uh, human beings, it's normal. We want many results in our lives. But we have this example Example from this tribe here. He will bend his shoulder to burden and submit to first labor. When you work hard, when you, when you press on, when you go forward, when you keep on, come on. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, uh, it's amazing to, to understand that one, one, when you do all these things, you have a result in our lives. Do something. Do not stay, just uh, look around. Do, do not stay, uh, just uh, think about the life. Put your hands on. Go for it. Come on, keep on. Do something. Because when you do something, you have a result in your life. As we see here, and this tribe that came and submit themselves under the kingdom of David. And um, bend the shoulder means bowing the shoulder to carry the load. It reveals, reveals the, the disposition to serve and encouragement. As, as children, of God, children of God. Uh, I know that we want to see the kingdom of God spreading around the world. And uh, we want to see many people come to serving our God. But allow me to remember you. As a children of God, God put under our lives the responsibility to serve this nation, to serve people in this nation, to serve families in this nation. This, this important characteristics that we see here in this tribe is a characteristic that needs to work in our lives as a church of God. If you are a member of, uh, of some church, if you are a leader, if you are a pastor, God called us to serve our society. God called us to give our contribution in our society. As we see this tribe here, the tribe of Issachar, 
they gave the contribution to the kingdom of David. They came to serve David. And uh, we were called to serve the kingdom of God, to serve the people. You are an, instru an instrument of God to serve the people here in this, in this country. Amen. Let's continue here. <laughs> Let's continue here. Although the tribe did not stand out in a special way, it seems that it could be praised for taking on the burden of uh, responsibility. And um, beside this, they, they understood that they were uh, by side of David to serve David. The Bible says that the tribe of Issachar discerned the moment the transition of the kingdom and joined David in order that the Lord's purpose will be fulfilled. Do you believe that uh, that God has a beautiful purpose for your family? Do you believe that God has a purpose or ministry for you? Do, do you believe that God he wants to use uh, your life with a lot of gifts in a such amazing way in, in these days that we're in. Do you believe in this? If, if you believe, I think this words is for you and for your family. This words will help you how to serve the kingdom of God and how to discover your purpose and how to live according to your purpose. The tribe of Issachar discerned the moment. Do you, do you remember? I talked with you uh, in my last message about three things. Discernment, alignment, and anointing. I see these things. I see these gifts. I, I see this, uh, how can I say, this uh, principles. I, I see this kind of feelings upon the tribe of Issachar because they had these gifts upon them. They fulfilled the purpose that God had for their lives in that time by side of King David. Today, today we are also experiencing turbulent times and many changes. And as a church, as a sons and daughters of God, uh, we urgently need to discern where the Lord is leading us and what He wants to do uh, through, uh, through us in these in this days. And again, let me give you if you, if you didn't have opportunity to, to spend some time in the presence of God and to ask God about these three points here, I am insisting with you. I am challenging you. I am giving you this advice. Try to develop these three feelings, three gifts in your life. These three principles in your life. What kind of principles, Pastor? What kind of uh, feelings? What kind of gifts I need to develop in my life? Okay, I, I'll give you again. Alignment, discernment, and anointing. For what? To understand what is happening and what God wants to do in us and through us in this world. My dear brothers and sisters, when I think about alignment, I'm thinking this way. Alignment. I am in the same line. I am in connection with my God. I am, I am in the same cha channel uh, with my God. Do, do, do you know what I mean? I am in connection with my God. Uh, it, it, it means 
alignment, alignment. Try to align your heart. Try to align your family, your, your marriage with God's heart. We see many people today living far away from God. We see many people asking God, I want to live your plan for my family and for my life. But they are away. They, they are away from God. It's a time for us to come to the presence of God. It's a time for us to align our, our, our hearts with God's heart. It's a time for us to go further in the presence of God. It means alignment. It's a time for the church to align his heart with God's heart. It's a time for you as a, as a parent. It's a time for you as, as a father. It's a time for you as a mother. It's a time for you as a teenager, as a young adult. Align your heart with God's heart and you, you're gonna see and you live the things that God has that, that God has for your life. Hallelujah. Are you with me? Are you with me? I am. I am so excited about 2021. And, uh, but I know that all these points here, it's very important. Alignment. Alignment. And uh, uh, because, because when the tribe Issachar came to serve David, they aligned it. They aligned it their hearts with David. They, they put their lives under King's, King's David. So we, we see these three points happen in their lives in that time in this tribe. 200 men, men came and put their lives under uh, David's authority. Discernment. They had, uh, they, they, they had alignment and the discernment. Discernment, spiritual capacity to read the facts and the movements of the spiritual kingdom around this. Discernment to see what God is doing right now in our midst. Discernment to see, to know, to perceive what God is doing in many nations around the world. Discernment to see, to feel. Discernment to, to captive what God is doing here in Canada. Discernment to, to understand what is happening with you right now. Discernment to know things that are happened with her children. Sometimes we have in the same environment, in the same, uh, in the same house, uh, mother, father, and children, but many parents, they don't know what are happened with their children. Their children, they are involved with a lot of things, include bad things, Include things that, not, that is not good in, 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 in God's eyes. But parents, they don't know nothing about that. Because they do not have discernment to understand, to perceive, to feel things that are happening with them in their house. If you want to have a good ear... If you want to live a beautiful moment in your house, in your family, come on. Put these words in your heart and ask God and seek this gift for your life. Discernment. Discernment. So when we have this gift upon our life, it's easy to see the movement of the kingdom of God. It's, it's easy to see the angels of God around us. It's easy to see the miracles in our lives. It, it's easy to see in many areas of our lives, God's doing a lot of things. A spiritual capacity to read the facts and the movements of the spiritual kingdom around us. And uh, the, 
uh, the last words that I gave you, that I told you, anointing, anointing, it means grace, favor of God, so that we can fulfill our purpose as, as believers and as a church. We need the anointing of the Most High in your strength, in your power, in your condition. Uh, sometimes it's impossible. You, you win some battles. In our strength, in our power, it's impossible we, we win, we overcome some obstacles. In our strength, in our power, it's impossible we prevail against in some, 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 some powers that comes from the devil. Because this, we need to ask God, please God, release upon me the anointing from the Holy Spirit. I need your power in me. I need your power in my life. Anointing. I know that God, He wants to release upon you. But you need to go to the presence of God. You need to spend time with God. We need to develop your relationship with God. And I'm sure that He wants, he wants to give you this kind of anointing, this kind of power to fight battles that you are going through right now or some difficult situations, some dif difficult situations that we are living right now. He wants to give you. Come with me. Stay here with me and put these words in your heart. We, 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 we see in the Bible that Jesus had upon him the anointing from the Holy Spirit. All battles that Jesus faced and that he won, he won through the anointing of the Holy Spirit. All difficult situations that he went through in that time, he won because he was under the grace, under the power, under the direction and the anointing of the most high God that he is in control of all situation believe the ones without anointing we cannot discern we cannot discern the time and season that we are in in our spiritual life familiar life and also as a church without anointing we are in serious problem and letting the cloud pass or letting the time of promises pass but the anointing will help you to discern as we see that happen with the tribe of Isaac they had discernment and they said now it's a time it's a time of david it's a time of it's a time of the kingdom of david it's a time for us to, to serve our god true kings david and the same way stay connected with god and ask god about his anointing and this way you see the cloud of god upon you and uh, you see God guiding you and uh, in many in many situations nowadays when God is ending one season and starting another he has to end old situations he has to end old seasons and then he starts new things Isaacar's tribe discerned the time. They knew how certain structures had to, to end in order for God's new seasons, new seasons to begin. The world is in transition and God is moving through it all. And as a believers, we need to understand in which direction the Spirit of the Lord is blowing 
it's blowing in this in these days my brothers and sisters our community church you that are here with me and um, one more time these three things alignment discernment and the mighty seek for these three things these three feelings these three principles gifts ask God and put in practice in your life if you want to pray with me I'd like to pray with you and uh, if you are with me and you didn't not receive Jesus as your Savior and if you want to receive Jesus right now before I ask God for these three points upon our lives I would like to pray with you if you want to receive Jesus just open our hearts and say to Jesus Jesus come into my heart I'd like to have you as my Savior I'd like to serve you I'd like to walk with you I receive you Jesus as my Savior do, do, do you want to do you want to do this prayer with me just uh, lift up your hands and say in your heart in your mind save me Jesus I open my heart to receive you as my Savior I open my heart I believe in my I believe in, in my heart and I confess with my mouth you are my Savior if you did this prayer um, I'd like to invite you to to follow us in our so social media and I would like to 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 make a contact with you and uh, to show you our church and things that we're doing here in this nation and now let's pray about these three points Jesus I would like to have alignment discernment and the mind father in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for my brothers and sisters in this in this year 20 21 we need these three things to win all obstacles in front of us we need these three points and uh, to to walk in victory in this world give us help your children help father your servants help help father all parents all uh, uh, mothers right now to develop these three points alignment discernment and the mighty I bless your people father and help them and uh, bring upon them all this these three points all these three principles and I know that uh, this year is, is gonna be an awesome year and I know that if we develop these three points this year is is gonna be a supernatural year in our lives and you God is gonna do amazing thing for us in Jesus name amen God bless you and uh, I see you next time